Hey guys, Lowly Steward back here with another video for you, this time on ham radios for um, bug out bag. I keep this one in my bug out bag, um, but uh, good to have one anywhere, in your car, in your house. Um, this particular model here is a Bovang, Baofang, not sure how you pronounce it, UV5R, and this particular radio, there's lots of reviews on it on YouTube and elsewhere, and uh, even, even experienced ham radio operators um, give this little radio a pretty good review for what it is, and especially as where value is concerned. Um, I'll, I'll put a link down below to the Amazon listing for this. Uh, I think I paid $35 for it and um, you just can't beat it and, and here's why. Um, I want to touch on there, there's so many different communication devices that you can have in an emergency and um, the one that most of us have is a cell phone and in the event of any kind of a natural disaster or anything like that a cell phone is probably not going to do you any good because everyone is going to be on their cell phone the lines are literally going to be locked up and there will be nothing but busy signals um, we saw that same thing happen in um, Hurricane Katrina and you know other natural disasters phone lines are just not available so um, let me just give you an idea with a ham radio of uh, all of the different types of communication that you can achieve with one of these um, as far as what devices you can communicate with. Now granted some of these um, that I'm going to tell you about here are unless you're a ham radio licensed operator uh, you can't communicate on a ham radio. I highly recommend uh, getting your ham radio license, um, but it, if it's not just something, if it's just something that you're just not interested in, you just want to have it as a, a emergency communication, that's fine. Uh, because in the event of an emergency, communicating on any frequency is not going to be an issue. Um, if it's a life or death uh, situation, you don't need to get your license first before you can call someone to save your life. So. Um, I, I just want to give that disclaimer here and and let you know that you cannot talk on a ham radio unless you're licensed and even if you are licensed um, some of these frequencies are still illegal to transmit over you can still do it but save it for emergency situations only so um, use this information at your own risk that is uh, my disclaimer so um, some of the more common frequencies um, FRS, MRS, or not MRS, GMRS, pardon me, um, PMR, MURS, and, and frequencies like marine, weather, uh, a lot of bigger businesses have will, will have a dedicated frequency. Um, as far as the FRS, FRS and GMRS frequencies, these are illegal to transmit over because those belong to walkie-talkies. However, you can still program those frequencies into your ham radio and have them for emergency purposes. You can also listen on those frequencies, but again, I wouldn't use those frequencies uh, unless it's an absolute emergency and you have to communicate with the person that you're that you're hearing on the other end. So as a safety precaution um, you can program in these frequencies and um, especially especially the weather frequency because you want to get weather and I've got weather uh, pre-programmed on here just to give you an idea that that weather tower is it's on the mountain over here which is probably 30, 35 miles uh, as the crow flies from, from where I'm at. And it picks up pretty clearly. So. Panel mode. Um, pressure, greater point three four inches in falling. In the call, mostly sunny. Temperature, 36 degrees, 3.29. 
So, okay. Knowing what weather is coming at you can be invaluable in a survival situation. So, uh, that goes without saying. Um, some other frequencies that you will want to have programmed, pre-programmed on here. And um, there are lots of videos on how to program this uh, radio, by the way. Uh, the easiest way to do it is uh, there's a program that you can get for your computer where you can just enter in the frequency values. And then uh, there is a programming cable um, that is typically purchased with this that you can connect to the USB port on your computer and just send them all over at the same time. And um, that, that's the only way to do it. You can do it on the, on, the, uh, on the handheld itself, but it takes forever and it doesn't always work the way you want it to. <laughs> so uh, I, highly, I, I, I would say the programming cable is a requirement um, for this device. So uh, other frequencies, police, fire, and EMS, um, both local police, county and state police, um, you can program all of those frequencies in here. Again, uh, those are also ones that you don't transmit over um, unless it's an absolute emergency, of course. Um, something that I mentioned earlier, a form of communication is, is, um, is, is cell phones. And, and again, I just want to touch on that again here and just say that uh, in, an, in an emergency situation, you know, if you're the only one in the emergency, great. Have a cell phone in your bug out bag or, or wherever, you, wherever you think you might need it um, in your car. But if it's a natural disaster or some kind of major emergency where everyone is in the same emergency as you, um, you're not going to be able to use it. So keep that in mind uh, when you're, you're talking about being prepared with, communi with communication devices. Um, another thing you can, you can program on here is CB channels. Uh, again, can't, cannot transmit on those, but in an emergency, um, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, and then another unique thing that, that this radio has is it has a, an FM radio on it. And um, so you can actually pick up radio stations. Um, it's, it's not really on a frequency per se, I suppose it is, um, but you have to switch over to uh, that mode. By the way, it has a flashlight on it. And flasher mode. You can never have too many flashlights, right? All right, so that's it. Uh, that's, that's my recommendation for emergency communication. It's cheap and you can tie into so many different services and so many different devices with it. I think that you find this device is going to be invaluable in, uh, in a survival situation where you need to communicate with, with somebody. Um, thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.